Bedtime Bonnet by Nancy Red, illustrated by Nanika Myers. In my family, when the sun goes down, our hair goes up. My brother twists and tightens each of his locks. Sis combs her hair in a swirl around her head. Daddy's hairbrush makes rows of black waves appear. Grandma rolls up her silver mane. Grandpa doesn't do anything to his hair because he doesn't have any. After Mommy gathers her corkscrew curls in a scarf, she calls for me. I scoop between her legs and she gets to work on my hair. I'm tender-headed, so she's extra gentle. Grandpa tells jokes as Mommy works her magic. He asks me, why does the bee have sticky hair? I don't know. So he says, because it uses a honeycomb. <laughs> Silly grandpa. <laughs> Finally, a braided crown is on top of my head and it's time for bed. Except, I can't find my bedtime bonnet. I need it to protect my hair from tangles and lint while I sleep. Wearing my bonnet at night is as important as brushing my teeth. Maybe Grandma knows where it is. She's covering her rollers with a kerchief. Grandma, have you seen my bonnet? She gets up and looks around. No, dear, I haven't. Maybe your sister knows. My sister's still in the bathroom. Her hair spun in a wrap. Sis, have you seen my bonnet? She looks in all the bathroom drawers. No, but here's Daddy's wave cap. I take the cap to Daddy and he pops it onto his waves. Daddy, have you seen my bonnet? He looks around the sofa, but it's not there either. Where in the world could my bonnet be? I can't go to bed without it. Just then, my big brother walks in. A do-rag slipped over his locks. Does he know where it is? Big bro, have you seen my bonnet? He doesn't even pretend to look. He just says, ask grandpa. Oh, grandpa. My bonnet is now in its proper place and I'm really sleepy. Everyone gives me kisses and hugs and mommy and daddy reads me a story. Good night, family. In the morning, when the sun comes up, our hair comes down. Daddy smooths his ocean-like waves. Mommy scrunches her ribbony curls. Sis unwinds her foot-long wrap. My brother shakes out his lovely locks. While Grandma unsnaps her rollers, Grandpa shaves his head. And as for me, my bonnet comes off and my braids come out. Now we're all ready for a brand new day. Hi friends at home. I really hope you enjoyed Bedtime Bonnet. Before we leave, I wanted to just have a fun little discussion about our story. So, our main character and her family all do something to take care of their hair so while they're sleeping, it doesn't get messed up and so when they wake up in the morning, they don't have to deal with it and have it be all crazy. That they can just wake up, do what they need to do, and be on their way and have a great day. 
So I want to give you an example for what I do so that my hair isn't crazy in the morning. So I actually sleep on a silk pillowcase because of my hair. If I sleep on a regular pillowcase, pillowcase <laughs> my hair gets all crazy. Now, turn to the person next to you and tell them what you do before you go to bed so that when you wake up in the morning, your hair isn't all crazy. Huh? Wow. Nice. Those are some awesome bedtime routines. <laughs> well, until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>